What's up? It's Ben from Wad Prep, and today I'm trying something new. This is the first installment of Wad Prep Cribs. It has absolutely no affiliation with any former TV shows, and I didn't get any inspiration from anything that's previously existed on TV. So today, what we're gonna do is I'm here at my buddy Eric Hinman's house. If you don't know Eric Hinman, well, you're about to. He has set up the most incredible home gym slash wellness center. Uh, his entire house is focused around health and wellness, and he's a great human being, and he's also really ridiculously fit and good at CrossFit. So if you want to take a peek inside his life and see why he's so fit, this is the video for you. So first of all, I hope he's home. Let's see if he's there. It's the Wad Prep crew. What's up, brother? What's up? I just want to warn you, as soon as you step through this right here, you're going to get a little bit fitter coming into this house of wellness. Biceps, abs, glutes, everything. 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 10 I'm pounds in. of mass instantly as soon as you step th foot through here. Here it comes. All right, Eric, so you're going to lead this. Uh, I already told them how fit you were. They're going to learn a lot more about it. But tan, um, How tan I am? They will eventually notice how tan you are. <laughs> but talk to me. I know you just got this house recently. Yeah. Uh, I know that you prioritize it for fitness and then also recovery. Mm -hmm. um, we're here in the kitchen. Give me a tour, man. Yeah, so welcome. We are big fans of designing our environment so that we thrive. So I'll take you guys through the kitchen first and show you where we keep all of our supplements right out so it's at the forefront where we know each morning what to take and then we'll take you guys through our indoor recovery space that has all sorts of biohacking tools and then our outdoor space that has the gym, cold plunge and sauna. Come on in. All right, let's check it out. All right, so we leave out all of our supplements here. Electrolytes, pre-workout, protein powder, creatine, beet powder, NMN, colostrum, everything that we take in the morning so that it's right in front of us. I like to call this habit stacking, where you have everything in front of you and you just make it a routine. So in the morning, I make coffee first thing for my girlfriend, Sarah, and myself, and then do the various supplements. I keep out this one gallon jug so that Hydration is top of mind all the time. So fill this up. I go through at least one, if not two of these every single day. So drinking a lot of water, working out twice a day, doing a sauna session at least once a day. So um, that's the kitchen. One thing you guys will notice is that he keeps it all in clear containers. That's actually a little bit of a hack because when something is in a clear container and you see it, you're reminded to take it. So keep that in mind. All right, man, so this is the kitchen. Obviously, I've seen you cook some delicious meals here, but I, I know there's a lot of other stuff in this house, so what's next? You bet, so over here we have water. So we do spring water, we have one indoors, we have one outdoors, again, just so water is around us at every moment to remind us to hydrate. Um, this is something else that is pretty cool. Uh, Sarah and I and anyone else that's over here at night, we write down things that we were grateful for at the end of each day. And then at the end of the year, we go through and read these. So Ben's gonna write one right now, what he's grateful for, probably to have really fit friends like me. Boom. There we go, another one in the gratitude jar. Uh, as far as like what we keep in the house, we try to keep it stocked with super healthy items. So, you know, in the fridge is going to be lots of organic grass fed, grass finished meats, um, fruits, vegetables, uh, A2 milk, uh, bananas in the pantry. Again, just keeping things that are like really clean uh, menu, uh, food items so that, you know, again, like we don't have candy here. We don't have chips because I'm a firm believer in like what you surround yourself with. Like that's where your decision making is going to go. So if you just have healthy things around you, then, you know, it's easy to make decisions around, you know, having a healthy routine. If you're surrounded by chips and ice cream, it's really easy to eat chips you're and ice cream. You're going to eat chips and ice cream. I yeah. know that for a fact when decision it comes to my household. Fatigue. Awesome. All right. What's next, man? Okay, so next up, let's go into the living room. All right, so now we're in the living room. This is also Sarah's office. Sarah is a chiropractor, so she has her chiropractic table set up here along with red light therapy. We have an air purifier here. And then on our couch, again, just like designing your environment so you thrive, we have an infrared sauna blanket from Higher Dose. We have a PEMF mat from Higher Dose. We have a Hyper Ice percussion gun and uh, yeah, again, just designing our environment so there's just biohacking tools and self-care tools all around us. Eric, what's this thing? That's an activation tool that Sarah uses for her chiropractic adjustments. You want to try it on me? Terrifying. <laughs> but I will link Sarah's info right here. So if you are in the Denver area and you need 
some help. She's your girl. She's a magician, absolute magician. Um, so next up, uh, let's go down into the basement and we'll show you more of our biohacking tools in the basement. All right, so we have the ping pong table, which also sometimes doubles as a folding board, but sometimes this is the best workout of the day when we're hosting people. Get the sweat on playing ping pong. I grew up playing ping pong, so I was super stoked to get this table so that we could have crazy ping pong matches at night. We need to get um, you on the pickleball court. I need to do that with you, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, so further down here, we have the higher dose PEMF mat. This is their full mat. Uh, we have an infrared sauna, sunlight in. Uh, we have red light therapy from Juve, and then we also have a more um, isolated device over there, which would be from a company called Kinian Labs, the Move Plus that you can put on your shoulders, your knees, any places where you're having any kind of joint issues. So we host a lot. We have a lot of people passing through Denver that come here to work out and recover. So we have lots of tools. These are for us, but also for others to be able to use. Cool, I love it. And these are just all different things that you think contribute to your recovery? Because you train, I know you train multiple times a day, yeah. and pretty much when you're not training, you're recovering. So this, this is like a little oasis, and I know we got some more recovery tools on the way, but these are just bits and pieces of things that you use to repair your body? Yeah, so I like to think of these as multitasking without multitasking. So for example, my recovery routine might be two hours at night, but I'm also you know combining that with meetings. So that's oftentimes when I'm meeting with people is in the sauna. Um, if someone isn't here, then that's when I'm answering messages, that's when I'm ideating. So I try and combine these things with, you know, other productivity tools. So it's not just two hours of, you know, laying down in there. I'm either having a really captive conversation with someone, forming a new relationship, um, chatting with like-minded friends, you know, trying to build something, um, or, you know, getting worked on sending out messages, usually voice messages on social media, um, voice messages on text, answering emails. So yeah, again, that hour and a half, two hour time period of doing a lot of this stuff is so it's almost also, like you're working and recovering or exactly. networking and recovering or being a friend and recovering. It's a, it's, it's a synergistic thing. You got it. You got it. Yeah. It, it would almost be like taking walking meetings where, you know, yeah. you're moving, but you're also having a really good meeting. And I feel like some of these things aid in that other thing. So for example, in the sauna, like, you know, your serotonin levels are boosted and like mm -hmm. your mind is super clear. So I always feel like I have my best conversations with people in the sauna. Same with moving, you know, like walking meetings. Like I feel like my mind is firing more clearly instead of just sitting down in a conference room. So yeah, I, I think that a lot of these things also improve other things that you might be doing in them. Sweet. All right, man, what's next? All right, so this garage, we laid down four by six, I believe it's three quarter inch rubber flooring to be able to drop weights in here. And, you know, prior to building the outdoor gym, uh, this was where I was doing some of my training if I wasn't going into a gym. So we have the rack over here, some barbells, some plates. Um, this pull-up bar is super handy for any garage gym. This is from RPM Fitness and it retracts up or down. Um, so you can mount that anywhere. Um, Tesla charging station, bikes, shoes, podcast station. So this has turned into more of my podcasting room. I'm hosting a podcast for Restore Hyper Wellness. So link down here. This is where a lot of the podcasting now happens is in the gym with the bikes and the shoes as the background for the podcast. I like it. I like it. Now, Eric, you have a limited edition shoe, correct? Yes. Talk to me about this thing. Yeah, so movement is medicine. And the backstory on this is when I was like seven years old, eight years old, I would scribble shoe designs. I always wanted to be a shoe designer and I loved like Jordans. I mean, we all grew up watching Michael Jordan. So I always wanted to have a shoe. And this is a brand that I'm invested in called Kane. And we got to collaborate on this design called Movement is Medicine. And what that means to me is movement for me is my medicine. It makes me feel good mentally, physically, emotionally. So I truly believe that moving often, we're living our best lives and movement makes me the best version of myself. So hence the Movement is Medicine collabo with Kane. And these are active recovery shoes. They have these raised nodes in the footbed that stimulate circulation in your feet. They're super comfy to wear. Um, in Colorado, we jump in cold streams a lot. So I leave a pair of these in all of my, in all of my vehicles so that I can get into uh, creek beds that have slippery rocks. So great water shoes, great travel shoes, great recovery shoes, great lifestyle shoes. Love it. Normally I just go barefoot and then I fall and cut myself in the rocks. 
<laughs> it's great. Live and learn. Awesome, man. So I've trained here before. Now, yeah. one thing I will admit is I haven't trained here in a while, but I hear you have something new. Yeah, so maybe we have this cool outdoor gym with a cool view. Let's, uh, let's go show them. Let's up. check it out. We're in the magic zone. Yes, we are. Show me what you got, buddy. Yeah, so this was kind of the vision for the property when we initially bought it, was to really transform this backyard and create this amazing health and wellness space for others to be able to come and, and use. So we, this was just like a wild sloping backyard. It was unusable. So we leveled it, <clears throat> we built a retaining wall, and we turfed 1,200 square feet and then started adding some of my favorite fitness machines. All right, so we have the climber that we keep here on the patio, and then we have an Assault Fitness rower, <clears throat> Assault Fitness runner, two Concept2 rowers, we have a Rogue GHD machine, we have a Concept2 at Ski Erg, we have two Assault bikes, and then this is the Rogue Castro rig with a 15 foot upright, so you can do rope climbs, you can do ring muscle ups, two pull up bars, two squatting stations, a box. Dave Castro did it right, that thing he is. He did. Money. It is. And it's not, there's not many home gyms where you can do a 15 foot rope climb, have 12 foot anchors on your gymnastic rings, and do bar muscle ups and wall balls. I mean, it's incredible. On. Come it's on. absolutely incredible. We love it. It's so sturdy. Um, cement piers in, and yeah, I mean, that thing just doesn't move. It's love really it. incredible. Love it. <clears throat> we got a box for box jumps, burpee box jump overs. We got about 500 pounds in plates. We have some dumbbells from RPM, kettlebells from RPM, sandbag from RPM, all sorts of weighted wall balls, 20s, 10s. I think we have a 12 or a 14 in here too. Uh, more sandbags, 100 pound from uh, 0.1, 100 pound from Rogue, 150 for strong guys like Ben from 0.1. We got an ab roller, we got some bands, we got towels for the sauna, which is a really cool feature here in the backyard, especially when it's snow out here in the mountains. We have two cold plunges, a big part of our lifestyle and the way we like to entertain is contrast therapy. So sauna and cold plunges. We have two ice barrels, one of them hooked up to a chilling unit, pump and filtration system, and then one just standalone ice barrel that we fill with ice when we have lots of people over here. And then this is a Sisu barrel sauna that I can set up to 230 degrees, which is ridiculously hot. Nice. It has a six kilowatt Hoom heater in it. Uh, we put an asphalt shingle roll over the top of it and then cedar shingles on top to weatherproof it for the Colorado winters. Oh. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? Recovering. I come here every Tuesday at this time. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a shed over here where we can store a lot of the equipment when it rains or when it snows. Um, Which is very little in Denver. Very so little in Denver. Knows. Yeah, I mean, you this, said that all this has been out for three months? The equipment's been out for three months. Not a sign of rust no at all. It all looks rust. pretty freaking brand new. Yeah, I mean, we're so fortunate that the sun is shining most days and yeah. the equipment stays pretty good when yeah. you're outside. I mean, this view is incredible, man. Like, I mean, th if anything, like this reminds you why you're training. It's to get out and enjoy yeah, nature. nature, right? We don't just, yep. like, I always say, like, I love it when our athletes get outside of the gym. Uh, it's pretty cool that you have a gym outside, right? Yep. And you can just see these amazing fall colors, the mountains, which I know you and I both love to play in. Uh, man, this is magical. Well, Eric, I really appreciate you giving us a tour and welcoming the Wad Prep family uh, to your incredible home gym. Obviously, you don't have to have a gym like this to be fit, right? Really, you need only a couple pieces of equipment. I think we're gonna make a video about that later. Here's what I want you to do. In the comments below, let me know, what should Eric name this place? I like that. The best name might just be what he turns the name of this place to. You guys name this place. House of Wellness, the House of Hinman, maybe, I don't know. But yeah. YouTube's really creative, so leave a comment below. If you like this video and you like what could turn into a series where I feature all sorts of other amazing people in the Denver area or all across the United States or all across the world where I talk about their houses, their fitness routines, and just generally get to know some great people. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, smash the subscribe button. If you don't like Eric, then you can hit thumbs down, but you might make him cry and we don't want that. He'll definitely make me cry. Should we do a 50 cal bike sprint now and I'll make you cry? Nope. <laughs>
<laughs> and thank you so much for watching. And obviously, if you want to learn more about the products that uh, Eric has here, a little bit more about Eric himself, I'm going to have all those special links down below. And also, I know that here today we're going to be shooting a few more videos. So stay tuned for those where we will release them in the coming weeks. And I will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh. What are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? I'm recovering. I come here every two days at this time. <laughs> This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's yeah, perfect.